joined by fourth-year head coach Tom Slider of the North Park men's basketball team. North Park coming off one of their better seasons in recent memory, a 15-10 in record, their best record since the 2009, excuse me, since the 2010-2011 season, as well as a 6-8 mark in the CCIW, which was their best finish since the 2009-10 season after they started the season with an 0-6 record. So, Coach, now that you're entering your fourth season as the head coach of the North Park men's basketball team, you know, what are your expectations for this uh, upcoming 2015-16 season? Well, that's a lot of talk to introduce our team and program, but uh, uh, the expectation is that we continue to uh, move forward and try to springboard and uh, parlay what we, we were able to get going at the end of the last year, and um, hopefully we're going to be able to do that here real soon. Talk about what you guys got coming back. You return uh, preseason All-American Juwan Henry for his junior year, who averaged uh, 22.5 points per game last year, was, which was top five in the conference. Uh, he was a three-time Player of the Week selection last year, as well as a first-team All-CCIW selection, as well as a uh, co-freshman of the year, and that being Jordan, uh, Jordan Robinson, who averaged uh, 16.3 points per game in his last eight games last year. Talk about those two in particular, about how much they're going to bring back to this year's team. Well, they're obviously uh, very uh, important to our program and our team, and and uh, they had very good seasons last year. Year, um, in Juwan's case, he's an extreme offensive talent, uh, very elusive, uh, very acrobatic in some of his shot selections. He's a shot maker in a variety of ways. Uh, he really creates a lot of challenges for the opposition. Yeah. And, uh, and he's proven that over the course of two seasons now, scoring 1,034 points in, in two seasons, okay. which is, is really phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, in Jordan's case, uh, Jordan really uh, kind of crashed the party last year, yeah. <laughs> come onto the scene real quick, and, and really got going and got in rhythm and had a, a, an extremely good freshman year, much like Jawan did as a freshman, mm -hmm. uh, in a different way. Mm -hmm. You know, Jordan is more of an inside-outside player and, and kind of physical and um, really gained confidence as the year went on and certainly got rewarded by the rest of the coaches in the league in naming him freshman of the year. So um, he has come back to start this year in, in even better shape and um, we're expecting really good things for both of them. And, uh, you know, they're really important players to our team as well as other guys too. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah you mentioned other guys. You can return uh, Colin Lake as well as TJ Cobbs, Trevor Pye, Matt McManera. Joe Biko, Cameron Burnett, uh, among some other guys. Talk about what your expectations are for those guys returning to this year's team as well. Well, that's hopefully the beauty is that we've got a core group of guys that have come back and now in year three uh, for those guys, uh, year four uh, as a staff, um, you know, the culture has been created here. We've had some success and we're relying on those guys to continue to drive um, that culture home with our young guys to use the experience that they've had last year, uh, logging a lot of minutes, um, and, and really kind of taking that to the next level. Uh, we've talked a lot uh, already with our team about, you know, what we did last year wasn't good enough yeah. uh, or isn't going to be good enough going forward, that, that uh, we're not going to sneak up on anybody, mm -hmm. um, that, uh, you know, we've kind of made – uh, a small name for ourselves and that uh, hopefully teams aren't just going to walk in here and think that we're going to lay down and um, you know that's a step forward in the right direction and certainly we played the last game of the year last year for um, it to be meaningful to go to the conference tournament mm -hmm. and we didn't get the job done yeah. so that kind of left a bad taste in our mouth so we're relying to answer your question again with those guys yeah. to come back and, and to help remember and drive the point home that we were close, mm -hmm. but that wasn't good enough. And uh, hopefully we can make this year special by uh, raising the level of play mm -hmm. and hopefully achieving more than we did a year ago. Mm -hmm. Talk about the, just the way you guys ended the season on that six-game winning streak, basically six and eight in the conference. What do you think was probably the biggest thing that led to that success? We think it was the defensive side of things, it was the rebounding, you think it was the offensive side, combination of all three. What do you think it was? Well, I mean, you have to have belief and confidence in being able to do whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for whatever reason, I think we decided to believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had played pretty well up until the start of conference season last year. And I, and I think we didn't handle our success very well. Um, we kind of got full of ourselves 
And uh, it doesn't take long to get humbled in the CCIW. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, but I think our guys ended up understanding that we could compete. Mm -hmm. And then we did. And then, you know, you always have to defend well enough to win games, uh, especially at a high level. And I thought we did that, but more than anything, I just thought we competed at a really high level. So we got to believe, we got to compete. We're a very talented team in some ways, not like the typical CCIW team, mm-hmm. um, but that's hopefully our strength. But we have to be able to utilize our strength, and one of the ways to do that is utilize our quickness and our speed, and that only can be done if you compete and you play with maximum effort, yeah. and, and that's what we have to do. That's the challenge ahead. It's mm-hmm. easy to sit here and say, um, it's so simple, it's hard. Right, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Talk about, too, some of these newcomers you guys got in. Got a, uh, some transfer guys as well, some new freshmen. Talk about what they're going to bring to the to table and what kind of mixture it's going to be, not only with the with the newcomers, but, you know, the, the key returning guys and what kind of mixture that's going to be for the team. Well, I mean, it's always good to add new people to yeah. the program. Yeah. It, it kind of spices things up, and with that comes a learning curve, and some of it's quicker for some than others, and, um, you know, it's never without uh, some bumps in the road. And uh, I think any player that comes in, all they're thinking about, and rightly so, is that it's a really smooth transition, mm-hmm. and it never really works out that way. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's, it's more how they handle that and then they, how they handle some adversity in terms of how play starts out and who we play and so on and so forth. But with that said, um, we, we feel like uh, Armand Mooring, who transferred in, uh, will be a junior for us. Okay. Um, he showed some really good signs in, in preseason practice, and uh, we, we would anticipate that he would be able to contribute for us. Um, Jason Stone is a freshman from Danville, Indiana, okay. um, and comes from a very good high school program, very fundamental a shooter, mm-hmm. and has really showed well in a couple scrimmages for us. And then Jack Gervey uh, from Deerfield, uh, just up the road, Sure. High school yeah. comes from a very good program, and they play in a really good league, and and is a very good shooter, and mm-hmm. uh, he showed well. and And Tim Townsell from Seton Academy okay. um, uh, has shown signs of being able to contribute at some point in time in our program. And you know, we have other freshmen too, but you know, those are probably the ones early on in the first eighteen practices that uh, I could say one way or the other. It seems like things are progressing for them and and they would be pushing so how much uh, how much any freshman would play in our program right now um, I'm not sure I can say that right now but those are guys that are certainly pushing Mm -hmm. okay what do you think is probably going to be the biggest key to success for this year's team well I mean early indications is that we don't get in our way and um, I'd like to be able to tell you that this has been a really smooth um Pre, uh, pre-season for us, and yeah. it really hasn't been, okay. um, not to air any dirty laundry, yeah. uh, and every team is differently different, and every team is trying to create their own identity, um, and we have forgotten some things um, that we need to do better, mm-hmm. um, and one of those is just come to work every day. Um, we kind of have started to correct that. And I'm hopeful that can get corrected sooner than later. Yeah. Um, so for us, is we have to be able to be coachable and to listen and uh, to always be willing to compete and not think that we have arrived. Mm-hmm. So beyond that, obviously you got to execute at the proper time, you got to mm-hmm. play defense, got to rebound. None of those things really change yeah. depending upon how you play. Mm-hmm. I mean, if there's one attribute to this team, and I think it's very apparent and we kind of felt like going into it is we believe that uh, we have a variety of people that can score the basketball. Mm-hmm. Um, we probably will be able to score a lot of points. Uh, we have to really focus on the defensive end and rebounding, which we're still a small team. And uh, we did add another newcomer. I sh- I, I'd be remiss in saying is Kylie B. Healer, another six seven post guy okay. that should give us some help inside as far as bangs, physical, and he can rebound and. And that, that will be something that uh, that will be beneficial to our team as well. Okay. You guys open the season this coming Saturday, November 14th, against the nationally ranked team in the University of Chicago, a team you guys took to overtime last year. Talking about the, that as a season opener and just the non-conference schedule, how much that's going to prepare you guys for the CCIW? 
Well, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking when I scheduled the <laughs> University of Chicago first game of the year. I mean, they're preseason ranked number 17 in the country. They return all five starters. Oh, Coach okay. McGrath does a great job. Um, it's well documented. The University of Chicago is a very smart, cerebral team. They're mm-hmm. very disciplined. Yeah. Uh, they have shooters. Um, I haven't looked yet. I think they're maybe picked to win this, the UAA, which okay. is a, a really good conference. And, and I'm sure they have aspirations of, of getting to the NCAA tournament. So okay. we have a work cut out for us. Um, we played there last year. It was a very good uh, competitive game. Um, you know, we've been working on some things where, you know, we'll probably 1-3-1 one, one them and, and kind of trap them in the corners and, and do some things like that that, you know, maybe uh, will be beneficial to us. And, you know, we keep continuing to refine our offense, the triangle offense that we've run, and, and we, we think we're farther ahead on that than we were a year ago. So um, it, it will be a great challenge for us, um, you know, any time that uh, – you know, you open up, it's always concerning as a head coach. Yeah. You always have anxiety and anxiousness. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. That's just the nature of who we are. Right. Uh, then you add to that, now they're the number 17 team in the country. And, <laughs> you know, I'm a little tighter these days than normal. So, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I know our guys will be ready. It's opening day. Any college player is ready to be done practicing. Sure. And ready, to, ready to compete, Kevin. And, and you know, uh, we're hoping to fill up the cracker box upstairs and, <laughs> And, uh, you know, make it a good night. So um, as far as the rest of non-conference play, I mean, it, we're not as fortunate as a year ago. We don't have nine of our first 11 games at home. Right, yeah. um, you know, we're really, you know, five away and five at home and one on a neutral court. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be more challenging. Uh, most of the teams that we play, uh, some of them that didn't have as good a records last year mm-hmm. uh, when we played them, uh, kind of really got some things going late in the year for them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I can think of Alma College as one of them who I think won 11 of the last 14, and mm-hmm. we struggled to beat them here with hitting a last second shot. And yeah. Mm-hmm. We got to go on the road four and a half hours to play them. And mm-hmm. so, you know, it's if there's one word again for this season, it's going to be challenge, mm-hmm. challenging. And, and, uh, but, you know, as a competitor, you know, what do you want? Uh, that's that's what you signed up for. It's why you come to the CCIW to play. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we're not going to back down from anybody. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, talk a little bit about the conference, too. I mean, you got uh, Augustana in this conference that picked to finish first in the conference <coughs> or picked to finish nationally. Number one, a team you guys actually beat here last year, which is a huge upset for you guys. Talk about uh, just what this conference is going to bring for you guys and how competitive you think you're going to be in it. And you're actually a preseason to finish fifth, which is, I think, probably one of the highest in recent memory. For well, we'd team. like Augustine to leave the league. I mean, <laughs> that would help a lot of us out. Yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, and rightly so, Augustana played for the national title last year yeah. and, and didn't quite get it done. But they returned, I think, six or seven starters and, um, you know, are well-deserving to be the team to win our league and to be the preseason Number one team in the country. It does nothing but promote our conference more. Yeah. Elmhurst, who I, you know, you could argue Elmhurst is as is as good of program um, with I believe twelve returning seniors, and they made it to the round of thirty two. And okay. uh, they're number eight in the country preseason, and then Illinois Wesleyan I believe is twenty four, and mm-hmm. you got some other programs that are still rising up in this league, kind of like we think we are, and. Uh, it's just there are going to be no nights off, and yeah. there's no easy win, and um, there's no good loss. Mm-hmm, yeah. um, so all those things. So you know, it's it's important that you get off to a good start in non-conference play if you want to have a shot at maybe getting an at-large bid. And mm-hmm. The history of our league is that three teams get in the league and in the national tournament every year, um, and so it's important that you do well in non-conference play because. You know, once you get to CCIW play, it's kind of like the Big Ten. It's a meat yeah. grinder, and yeah. everybody beats up on everybody. So, but you know, we're looking forward to that. We're not wishing our way all the way to conference play yet. We got a lot of things we need to take care of and get better. But uh, you know, this year is going to be no different. The league is um, going to be a bear, and you know, quite frankly, it might even be better than it's been oh, okay. in, in a while. So, from top to bottom. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best of luck in the 2015-16 season, Tom, and uh, thanks so much for taking the time today. All right. Go Vikings. Thanks so much. All right. <laughs>